Hi friends, our next course name is 5G Code Protocols and Procedures. Currently, the technology is changing with a fast pace and many of us are well aware of 5G communication technology and many wants to know more about this. Hence, considering this, we are here today to discuss about 5G Core Protocols and Procedures. To help network professionals understand the path of 5G implementation and adoption, this course provides the details about 5G Core Protocols and various procedures involved in it. 3GPP has standardized most of the functions, protocols and interfaces for the proper digital transformation of 5G NR and 5G Core. Currently, the vast majority of commercial 5G deployments are based on NR non-standalone technology which reuses existing LTE radio access for signaling between devices and the network together with the enhanced evolved packet core networks as anchor to support 5G NSA. In this course, we will cover several topics. Those include, first, NG interface, second, NGAP protocol over N2 interface, third, idle mode procedures, fourth, physical and MAC layer procedures, fifth, RRC procedures and its states, sixth, PDU session management procedures, seventh, UE context management procedures, eighth, UE mobility management procedures, ninth, transport of NAS messages procedure, tenth, interface management procedures, 11th, Configuration Transfer Procedures 12th, Warning Message Transmission Procedures 13th, NRPPA Transport Procedures 14th, Trace Procedures 15th, Location Reporting Procedures 16th, UE TNLA Binding Procedures 17th, UE Radio Capability Management Procedures 18th, Data Usage Reporting Procedures the list is long, but don't worry, we will cover all these topics in bits and pieces. So let's get started. Our first topic is NG interface. The NG interface connects a G node B to the 5G core network. The control plane of the NG, NGC, allows signaling between a G node B and an AMF. The user plane of the NG, NGU, allows the transfer of application data between a G node B and a UPF. If the CUDU split base station architecture is used, then these interfaces connect the CU to the 5G core network. If the CPUP separation base station architecture is used, then the NGC connects the CUCP to one or more AMF, while the NGU connects the CUUP to one or more UPF. Figure on the screen shows the control plane and user plane protocol stacks belonging to the NG interface. The control plane uses SCTP over IP, whereas the user plane uses GTPU over UDP over IP. That is, the transport layers are the same as those used for XN interface. A single base station can be connected to one or more AMF. The base station is responsible for selecting an initial AMF using its non-access stratum node selection function. The 5G STMST can be used as an input for AMF selection if provided by the UE during RRC connection setup. A UE can include 39 bits of its S. TMSI within the RRC setup request message and the remaining 9 bits within the RRC setup complete message. The S TMSI is a concatenation of AMF set identity, the AMF pointer and the 5G TMSI. This information allows the base station to identify the AMF to which the UE has previously registered. If the 5G S TMSI is not provided, the base station can use network slicing information from the RRC setup complete message. That is, the UE can provide a list of SNSSAI within the RRC setup complete message. 
a single base station can be connected to one or more UPF. The SMF is responsible for selecting an appropriate UPF during the setup of a PDU session. The selection algorithm can account for UPF load, geographic location, network slicing, supported features and PDU session type that is IPv4, IPv6, Ethernet, unstructured. Load information can help the SMF to balance network load across multiple UPF. The SMF provides information to the AMF regarding the selected UPF and the AMF informs the base station. Control plane signaling across the NG interface is based upon the NG application protocol that is NGAP. Here I conclude this topic. Hope you understand all the concepts clearly. Meet you in the next topic. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to our videos. So what are you waiting for? Join us for the course and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos.